Hi friends, I'm Jess and welcome to the Hex Library where I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. Today is going to be another book haul. Was the last video I posted a book haul? I do believe so. Is today's video also a book haul? Yes. Yes, it is. A thing happens. You see, I went to go visit my friends Julie and Amber. You probably know Julie. I'll link her down below. And while we were together, obviously, we did some book shopping. And uh, I'm home now and I have about 14-ish books to share with you. So rather than waiting until like the end of the month, I'm just going to go ahead and share my haul from Pennsylvania. So first we went to Covered Maker Books, which if you are around the Enola slash Harrisburg area, you're probably familiar with. Um, it is a bookstore that is predominantly used books. They have a lot of older things. I got a lot of my books from there. I got a lot of books from there last year as well. My bookmark is their newest kitty, Odin. Um, they do cats for adoption. They also have, they also have three cats in the building that are like their regular cats as well. Um, that will scare the crap out of you because Mouse is giant and uh, I walked around a corner and he was there and I was not expecting there to be a cat the size of a tank truck around the corner. Have I met Mouse before? Yes. Still surprised. While we were there, we met up with Leandra from Leandra the TBR Zero, who I'll also link down below, um, because Leandra lives in the area. So her and I decided to have a meetup while we were there and we did some book shopping. My books were very kindly paid for by Julie with her store credit and where she does book signings there. So I picked up these three books from Mercedes Lackey's uh, Arrows Trilogy, which are Arrows of the Queen, Arrows Flight, and Arrows Fall. This is a series that I have read before. Um, I do really love this series, and I did not have um, copies of these books. They were, I think, like, all three of them was $12. So um, that is the one thing that I like about Cupboard Maker, is they have a lot of things that you're not going to find regularly. Um, they have a lot of like good old series. That's where I got the uh, Circle of Three books last year. But yeah, I was very happy to find these and also to pet the kitty cats and also hang out with Leandra. The Arrows trilogy follows Talia, who is a young girl in the first book. I think she's around like 11 or 12. By the time we get to the last book in this trilogy, um, we're getting like her marriage. So we see her growing up, learning how to be an arrow of the queen, learning how to be a herald, um, learning how to work with her companion uh, named Roland, who is not necessarily a horse. That is a horse like being, they are magical creatures. Um, learning how to work as part of like this guard for the country that she lives in. Also going through war, making friends, learning how hard life can be, losing friends. Um, there's a lot of trauma and stuff in this series, uh, but I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. This is my second series that I've read by Mercedes Lackey and I've enjoyed both of them. The other that I read was the Hunter trilogy. It's I'm like it's right here so I know it's right there somewhere. Um, but yes I've also read the Hunter trilogy which is not part of this world but there is like a huge world around the series that I hope to continue reading in soon. Also a gift from Julie was my brother's husband. Um, this is a graphic novel duology. This is a bind up of both books. Um, Julie had read these previously and was not interested in rereading them so she asked me if I was interested and of course I am because I love reading the manga and also this one's one I've been hearing about for a while so it seemed like a fun time. I am not 100% sure what this is about but I do know it's about this guy was married to this guy's brother. That's what I know. Let's move on to books that I bought at Books A Million and also books that I've already read before. I got the first three Mistborn books in these giant floppy paperback editions. Um, I've been looking at these for a while, uh, but I have wanted to buy them in person just to make sure that I get the right copies. And they did have a sale when I was there, so I figured now was as good of time as any. 
but Mistborn, which was originally called the Final Empire, um, they've changed the name of it over the years. Uh, but the Final Empire, Hero of Ages, and Well of Ascension, in these great floppy editions. Mostly I want these because I own these editions, these small UK editions. These are my pref like preferred because they're pretty on the shelf edition. But I do want to reread this series and annotate. And there's not really a whole lot of um, annotation space in these because they are packed into such a small little brick. Um, so I do plan to annotate these copies. So that's why I picked these up. And as per usual, if you're here on the YouTube, you probably know what that series is about already. So I don't feel like I need to tell you. I picked up, as always, a Darcy Coates. I got on Where He Can't Find You. I have not read this one yet. This is a YA horror. I know it has something to do with some kind of a serial killer. Amber and Julie have both read this one and have told me that it has a lot more gore than Darcy's other books do. So I'm interested to see where this one goes. I do typically prefer her haunted house stories. So we will see how I like this. Um, there was actually a really good sale at Books A Million. They were doing like a lot of their books were buy one get one 50% off and a lot of them were like bargain books. So I've got everything else that I've got I think yeah it was like in the bargain book section. So I got Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin. I actually don't know what this one's about but I've read her other book Nature of Witches and really enjoyed it. Um, this one also has the very pretty hardcover copy um, that I think typically is only in the first editions. Um, this doesn't say what edition it is, so I'm assuming that means it's the first edition, but yes, so I picked this one up because it was like $5. I also picked up Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Um, this was $3, and if you were here last month, you will know that I thought I read Rebecca, and I was like, I liked it. I gave it four stars. It was amazing. How did I give a classic four stars? And then I realized that I read an audiobook that was four hours. While there are also audiobook editions that are 14 hours. So while the edition that I read does not say that it is a um, abridged version, I am about 97% sure that it was abridged, which is probably why I liked it. Um, but I decided that I wanted to read it again and actually read the whole book this time and see how I like it. Also, for $3, I got The Midnight Club by Christopher Pike. I've not read any Christopher Pike books before, but I have seen this one advertised on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's a movie or a series, but I've seen like the preview for it. And it's, you know, haunted housey and kids. And that's the kind of thing I'm here for. I wanted to read the book before I watched whatever the adaptation is. The adaptation is. It was cheap. So um, like I said, I haven't read any Christopher Pike but I do know someone who has read his like vampire books and who really enjoyed them. So also from the bargain book section and also from Christopher Pike, I picked up Spooksville. Um, these are books one through three, which are The Secret Path, The Howling Ghost, and The Haunted Cave. I did not realize that this was like a 24 book series. I just thought it was like this trilogy that they put in this bind up. It was less than $3. It was $2.97. So I've had these in my audiobook saved audiobooks um, because they're short so like as something spooky to read for my like 31 days of October where I try to read 31 sp spooky books in 31 days so these are saved in there for that and I found a physical copy it was super cheap did not realize there were so many of these though also last haul you may remember or may not I don't know what you remember uh, I'm pulling the sticker off of here I thought I got them all but I apparently missed one I hauled the first seven books in the Chicagoland Vampire series. And while I was at Books a Million, they had this book for sale, which is like, I don't know, the 14th book in the Chicagoland Vampire series. So like, hopefully I like it. Um, but also it was $4. So $5, $5. It's fine. And the last book that I picked up is The Assassin Game by Kirsty McKay. Um, who will be left after Lights Out? Um, this is set at an isolated boarding school, YA. There's some kind of like a secret society with a game where you kill people, but not real kill, but then people start really being killed. And then the school is like trying to shut everything down and our main character, um, who is name is Kate. But basically it says Kate will do anything to keep playing and save the guild, but can she find the real assassin before she's the next target? Um, this is one that I just seen on the shelves that sounded interesting. Um, so I picked this up 
as well. As I said, got lots of books. Also got um, this mug that says, who dares to light the black flame candle? With the black flame candle on it and it's tin. I also picked up some Oracle cards. I don't know where those are right now, but yes, that is, that is what I did. I had a fantastic week with Julie and Amber and a wonderful meetup with Leandra. It was great. Uh, my drive wasn't terrible. I didn't hate my life. I didn't feel sick and like I wanted to curl up in a ball and die. I didn't have to stop multiple times on the side of the highway and throw up like I did last year. It was a great time. If you have read any of these books or if you would like to maybe buddy read some of them with me, if you have them on your shelves, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, leave me a candle emoji down below so that I know that you made it here. And that is all I have for today. If you don't want to miss anything else we have going on in the library, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!